20, 28, 25, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, I'm about 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. Okay, so we're home with the box and we're just going to take it out of the car and into the house to see what's yeah, inside. How exciting. Can't... We wrapped it up in a, um, an old woolen blanket and it's actually really quite heavy. That's why I'm making ca Alex carry it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a heavy box. It's got lots of treasures in, so let's go and see what they are, quick. Okay, so here's the box and we are super excited to see what's inside. Yeah. We know that it is a collector's box yes. and it dates from the very early 19th century, so it is Georgian and probably That's exciting. at least 200 years old. Um, and it, it said it had coins in it. So. Yeah, it said it was a coin, a collector's box, a coin box, so it's really heavy, so we're expecting there to be quite a few coins in here. So I've actually got the receipt and we'll tell you exactly how much we actually paid for it. Um, in total for this box, because we bought something else as well, didn't we? Um, 300 pounds exactly we oh, paid for this box. No. Which is a lot of money. That's very expensive. We might have got a bit carried away. It was meant to be for Alex's birthday, yeah. but we are opening it early. Yeah. Not that early. No, not too early, it's no. A couple of weeks. It's, it's it's next month, which is very nearly next month. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's described here. So it says a 19th century new morast ma no. So we just had a bit of a struggle reading and pronouncing this word. Numismaticis collectors coin or medal chest circa 1800 with ten drawers. Eight with individual coin compartments currently currently containing a large number of Victorian copper pennies and a small group of foreign coinage. Mm. In bracket says a lot. So foreign coinage, what's going on? What's that? And Victorian coins as well. Are they um, old foreign coins? Well, we're about to find out. And it's so apparently there's lots of drawers in here. Anyway. Also, we thought it might be good for keeping some of our mud blocking yes, coins in. Yes, that was the idea. It's going to be for storing like some of our coins and our found buttons and stuff in. Yeah. So hopefully it's not completely full of old coins. Oh, we, can, we can chuck some of them It's out. really <laughs> heavy. I mean, there is a lot of coins in here yeah. either way. Anyway. It's got we... this modern belt on here because the box does need some repair, we've noticed. I think it's vintage, actually. Um, the box is... The, the, belt. the belt is vintage, mm. so it's holding all together, so it needs a bit of TLC. But anyway, let's um, bring you over here and show you us opening it. All right, so because it's Alex's birthday present, um, Alex is going to open it. Well, I was going to open it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I'm guessing, is holding um, the front on because I think the hinges might be a bit knackered. I'm going to put my glasses on. And it looks like there used to be a key, uh, possibly attached to this. Oh, yeah. Look. But it's long gone now, so. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh it's this that's not attached. Oh. 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 That wood's. Yeah. It's, it's being glued before, look. We can repair this, though. Yeah, we can do that. Wow, so. 
Has it got anything on the inside? No. Okay, where are we going to start? This big drawer, I think. Are we? Mm. I love these typical Georgian little, <coughs> the little knobs, but this seems to have nails. They're like nails. It's on it. Oh my wow. goodness. Wait a minute, I've got a bit of cloth. Oh, wow. it's really heavy. That is a lot of copper. They're coming oh. out the back of the drawer. <laughs> are they? Oh, there might be some stuck in there. Yeah, let me put oh, this. There's, there's some stuck in the back, is there? there? Yeah, there's like two in the corners. Anyway, let's tip them out. Okay, I'll put this cloth down. And it's ready. Wow. Oh that my goodness. Nice. They're what? really quite worn, aren't they? They what all look really worn. What are we going to do with all of these? Look, they're stuck in the, in here as well. Well, these all look Victorian. There's I a can see young, a lot of Victorian. Young head Victorian. Young Victorian. Oh, here's an older one. It's oh. an older, older head. So lots oh. of young heads. And that's an older head on this side. That's got like marks on the bottom. Like this one. Oh, and this one is 1906. So that's 1876. But some of them are just practically... 1889. Practically blank. 1889, and it's got a hole in it. Look, someone's like used it as a bob or a pendant or something. Yeah, this one has got like someone's tried to make holes in it. I think 1861's the earliest one I've seen. 1866. Oh, the oldest one so far. 1860. This one is literally just. Queen Victoria's neck. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Just the neck. Just, just a neck. So this is the only halfpenny that I found. That's half penny. Oh yeah. And it's funny that we've not found a coin older than 1860. No. And Queen Victoria reigned from 1837 to 1901. So we've um, these are two we've got here. Look, both 1860, and that's the earliest date. So yeah. That's fine. So Which is weird since there's like. So many coins here, look. It is, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know, they're just rarer or something, or they've, they've been sorted out for some We reason. haven't looked in the other drawers yet. No, we haven't. We haven't so, looked in the other drawers. <clears throat> I think we should have a look in another drawer. We'll have to come back to these later because yeah. they're interesting. Right, so we're going to put them in the drawer. We're going to have to... Um, I wonder if we can find out why we can't find any earlier than... Um, well, maybe they were just sorted so that they were 1860 and younger. Yeah, maybe. For some reason. Some reason. We'll see if we can find the Who's reason for that. Yeah. Wow. I think we should make. We're definitely going to make. Look at the state on my fingers. Oh, yeah. They feel really weird. Yeah, they feel Ooh. horrid. This is so cool. So. I can't that wait one. to make things. See that one being like... Ugh. Yeah, if anyone's got any Gosh. ideas for making things with these, we'd like to know. We've got a few ideas for it. Yeah. Own. What do you think we should make out of these? There's yeah. so many of them here. Um, to put in our shop, of course. Yeah. None of them are in collectible condition, are they? They're all No, so really we can worn. stamp them, we can cut them, we can do all sorts, bend them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, ideas for things yes, to put in our shop. Yes, ideas, please. That would be wonderful. Okay, let's. Oh, one dropped on the floor. Oh, are they escaping? They're escaping. I think there was one in there. Oh, the, uh, they're escaping. There was one in this cloth. Okay, let's see if there's any different. Put the cloth. Oh, I'll pull the drawer out first. Yeah. These have got tiny nails yeah, for handles. Oh, oh, it's purple. There's nothing in here. <laughs> there's no coins, but it's all purple. These must be for the. These would be great coins. for putting um, oh, buttons. little buttons. Have we got in. any buttons? You know the um Oh we haven't got any buttons. Our morning buttons. The morning buttons. Oh yes. Yeah. Look, there's crosses on that one. Right, yeah. look, this is gonna be the most um amazing display. We're gonna have to yeah. we should put some in and then show everyone what they look like. One number two. Oh, there's no coins either. No coins in there. And either. there's bigger bigger coin holes as For well. Bigger buttons. Bigger buttons, yeah. Or coins. We do have a few coins. Oh yeah. Another one oh, with no coins with in. No coins in. 
Oh no. Oh no, are they all going to be empty now? Is that the only coin draw? Oh, oh, we've got coinage. We've got oh. coinage, guys. So what's the difference between these and those other ones? I don't know. What the date? 87. 1890, 1890, 1891. 90s. 1892, um, 1891. Oh, 1886, I think. They don't see many. No different. Anything special. No. Maybe someone's just randomly put them in there from the bottom one. Unless they were the family's birth dates. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I see that. There's little numbers. Oh, look. Actually. Yeah, it's all numbered. Yeah. 26, 27, 28, 29. I wonder what amazing coins were in oh, here. Oh no, someone's taken out. Yeah, that were in here like in the 18, early 1800s. Can you imagine? What kind well, of coins have there been in here? Alex's ancestor used to collect fossils wow. and coins no in coins. those days, didn't, didn't he? Yes, my, my, my ancestor, name was, uh, Frederick Larkham. No, it was... No, not that one. No, it was Larkham, but it wasn't Fred Frederick, it was... Another name. <laughs> this one has much bigger holes. We could actually, we've got some like... Do you know what? We could have... Oh, oops. We've got some like medals and stuff, look. These would have been oh. for like cartwheel... Oh, yeah. Pennies or something. Yeah, maybe. Or great big crowns, those silver crowns. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. maybe... Yeah. Sovereigns? Oh, little sovereign. oh, I could put my sovereign in. Here. Yes. <laughs> Just one sovereign. <laughs> one sovereign that I've found. Another empty draw. No. Oh, but it's got loads of tiny ones. These would be really good yeah. for the buttons. All these little tiny ones. These would be are perfect fantastic for, for the little morning buttons. I love that. What else? Another oh, empty one. No, these like medium sized ones. What's underneath these? Nothing. Just Nothing. Wood. Just wood. Okay. Oh no. Hang on. Yeah, I'd have loved to see my ancestor's coin collection. That's what he said he collected. He collected old coins and fossils. Yeah. He's a fossilist and a hairdresser, wasn't he? Strangely, yeah. Strange this mixture. one's nice too. That's This is perfect. Isn't this perfect? They must have had a little book with all the numbers written yeah, in. Yeah, look, I noticed up here. There's numbers up there as well, look. Can you oh. see that? Oh. Oh no, we've okay. got one more draw to go. So, if there's nothing in here, yeah, then... This is the last one. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. it's full. It's got. Wait, oh, it's interesting. Hold that. I'll put the. Uh, I'll put the cross down. Oh, maybe these are the foreign coins. Yeah. Wow. Okay. One's jumped out at me already. These. Yes. Yeah, some are jumping at me. These are not all foreign coins. No. That's the first thing I've realised. Right. Let's tip them out. Okay. Oh, there's a little. Um, Oh, I see a cartwheel penny. You see that? Uh, this says. Oh, I don't know. It's it's um in cursive. Can you can you read them? Token. Token. This is token. Oh, I think they were stuck. And oh, there's another one. Says I don't know what that says. That says token as well. I don't know. P. Hold it up. R. See if anyone else can read it. Can anyone read that? Can you see what that is? You can pause it and tell us what it says. And what's this one? Dardinia. Something like that. Maybe they're different foreign coins. Can you see what that says? Okay, let's look at these. This one oh. says Ned Nedral Indy 1837. And that's when Queen Victoria came to the throne. It's got a crown and a lion and I and a C. That is really cool. I will have to look that up. This must be some sort of token then. Yeah, some sort of well, What does that mean? Maybe Back. that's someone's initials, some whoever's business it was. What does that mean? It's ha It's been like stamped, like hammered. Let's look, let's, let's show you. Let me get a bit closer. Can you see this? Isn't this cool? 1837. Oh, and this is like a V on the bottom, so maybe that stands for Victoria. Who knows? That is really cool. Actually, I'd like to cast this. And cast that and make a cool necklace. Now these ones are all really, really light. Oh, didn't uh they have um 
Aluminium coins in Italy. Spain. These are Spanish. In Spain. Oh, that was it. These are 1940s. So, well, before they... Um, Spanish. They're so light. It's before weird. the European Union oh. and they switched to the Euro, obviously. They're so light. Oh, I see silver. I see silver That's coins. Normal. Look. Threepences. Silver threepences. What's the date? Um, 1919 and 1918. Oh, isn't that the First World War? Yeah. This one is, Ooh, I yeah. recognise it straight away, it's like a cartwheel penny. And these were only made in 1797, so you get cartwheel tuppences as well, which are even bigger. And I think one weighed to, like so many ounces and they used to use them for weights. Yeah. But they only survived for a short time that year because they were too heavy yeah. to carry around. <laughs> Yeah, people were complaining, like you'd have them in your pocket and they were like weighing down people's trousers because <laughs> it was so massive. Look, look how thick it is. That's a huge piece, like chunk of, uh, is it copper? Bronze? Brass, bronze. Brass? I don't know what it's made of. What's that? I don't know. It says Cornique, 1924. Turns out we don't C -C -C know anything. CCCP. We don't know anything about other, other countries' we don't currency. We don't know that much about coins, to be honest. <laughs> and some are, uh, um, especially like European coins that are not used anymore, you know? Don't. Oh, here's half penny. I recognise oh, this. Yeah. It says it's ship a in. Newman. Newman? Yeah, look Someone at this. Could... We've got a ship oh, on it. Wow, I love Isn't that. Isn't that wonderful? What is it? It says his. Here's half penny, it's half a token. Penny. Yeah. And it's the half penny of someone called Newman. Oh. Has this got Arabic writing on it? No, what's this? this ship. It says it says his half penny. And something ship in. It says I think it says New... the ship in. Could that be a token for the ship in? Could be, yeah. Wherever the ship in was. His half penny. That's quite old that. That is quite old. That can be Georgian. What do you think, Georgian? I think so. Look at this one. Look at that guy on there. Oh, oh wow. He's very distinctive. He does looking. have a distinctive profile, doesn't he? I've got my magnifier here. It says Promissory Farthing. That was my initials on it. Birmingham. 1792. Really? Oh, it's like another token then, isn't it? And it's got the initials, and on the other side it's got this distinctive looking man, it looks like a Roman, and it says John Howard. John Howard? F-R-S. Really? That is, oh, I'm wow. going to mix that one up. And it, oh, we're going to have to put some of these uh, aside, so we'll put that one up here. Uh, what, oh, we've got lots of penny, more pennies, look. Yeah. Old pennies. Is there any older ones in here? Take no. all the pennies out and then we'll be able to see everything. They're else. actually younger. These pennies yeah, these are do look younger, 1900s they? pennies, look. Yeah, what's this? I don't know. What's this? Oh, wow. That looks like it's a like a weight. weight. Yeah, that's not a coin, is it? No, it's got a crown stamped on it. Yeah, that looks... I think it's a weight. Weight vibes. This is a, that's a oh, really, I really that. old coin weight. That's a really old coin weight, isn't it? I love it. That's so cool. There's a really old, uh, like, Indian-looking coin here. Oh, what do you think? There's anyone from India who recognises oh, that. yeah, what's that? Yeah, it looks like... It looks Indian, I'm not sure. Um, it kind of looks like Hebrew. What could be? But we're yeah, we're very writing. ignorant when it comes to It looks like, like silver as well. We'll put that aside. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. What's that? Oh, is that another token? Oh, what, it's got 17? I... 1775. 75. It's got I. Oh, wow. Gutter. Is, so... is that German? P F E N. Oh. Sounds looks German, doesn't it? Gutter. Sometimes an I was a J. Gutter. They wrote a J as an, an I. 1775. Oh, we're going to be looking up these for the rest of our lives. Look, this someone's actually cut that, like chopped oh, yeah. it. Look at that. That's weird. Why would they do that? Maybe they thought it was fake. I'm checking the. If it's fake or not. Oh, I thought this was a pen. Oh, it is. Oh, no, wait. 1877. Who's that? Well, it's not Queen Victoria, so it must be a um, European coin. Uh, Espana. The Spanish. 
It's a 1877 Spanish coin. I don't know anything about Spanish royalty. Alfonso. The, oh, what's that? What's X? Um, I, I? Um, that's 10, a 12. Alfonso the 12th. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. This is 1851 and it says Kreutzer. I think it's German. Maybe a German token. Oh yeah. That looks like it's been stamped as well, doesn't it? That's cool. I really like tokens. We should, I do. Maybe we should start a token collection. Well, we have. Yeah, we've got an instant one. <laughs> oh, this one. one's India, 1940, look. Oh, cool. Because we had family from India. What? Yeah, my great, Further great, back. great grandmother. No, no my great, 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 great. No, my great grandmother, your great, great. My great, great grandmother was actually um, an Indian, Indian yeah. lady. She immigrated over to the northeast of England. Back in the 19th century. So there you go. I bet none of you knew that. Yes. Um, oh, and a, that's another fret fragments. How many have we got now? Two, just two. What's this? That's, oh, there's one. Is that a oh, fragment? No, oh, this is a Queen Victoria sixpence. Not that you can actually see anything there. Oh, what's this? Look. Oh. George. George. That looks British. George third. Yes. It looks like... Oh, is it uh, Odd Fellows? That's what that reminds me of. No, it's a Jetton, I think. A Jetton? 1790. Reminds me of those Odd Fellows tokens. Or a gambling piece. Uh, another sixpence, and that's um, silver, because oh, it's look. 1905. That's Roman. That's Roman. <gasps> oh, look. That is Roman. I recognise the spiky yeah. um, head. Uh, I don't know who it is, though. Heaven knows. Roman. That is Roman. We've even got a Roman That's coin, guys. Roman. 1861. Again. Why, oh, why are none of these Victorian coins? <gasps> Look at this one. What's that? Oh, that looks it's silver. Like George. George. That looks like a George Georgian. George the third, again. George the third was quite absurd. <laughs> is that a George the third? It's 17, wait, 1757. Oh. Oh, is it a farthing? Is it a sixpence? An old farthing? Sixpence. An old sixpence. It's silver. Yeah, it is. It's got a hole in it. Someone's used it as like a charm or something. It's not... Yeah, it's Richard. Third. Wait a minute. Could that be Rich... H-A-R-D? I think that says Richard. I think it looks Richard. Magnifier. It does say Richard. Does it? Dublin. What would that be? Dublin? It's, well, it's D-V-B-L-I-N. Well, the V is a U. It's a U, yeah. Oh, Dublin. Dublin, something, it's all worn away. It says Richard, that's interesting. Put that up there. There's a little pile of silver coin. Oh, there's there's my other threepences and sixpence there. 1948. Here's a one cent. It's not American cent. Oh, Netherlands. I think it might be from the Netherlands. Oh, that's oh, weird. I think that's I the same, know. look. Oh another yeah, cent. another cent. I didn't know they had cents outside of America. That's the Netherlands as well. Oh, what's this? Who knew? Who this is knew? hammered. I didn't. Moidor. <laughs> it's hammered. I yeah. Moidor. Moidor. These are all Hackney's Victorian. So yeah, Edwardian. we'll show you all close-ups of the ones we're putting up here. Oh, so we got two. Um, 1797 oh. pennies. Oh, I didn't know there was two. There you go. Who's this? That's Victoria. Oh, it's Indian. It's a colonial penny. 1862. A half pice? Is that how you say it? Half pice? Is that Australian for peace? Pice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says P I C E. India. Half pice. See, like, this is another coin that's squashed on the edges. Yeah. Do you think that's just how it was made? I don't know. I've seen it like coins like that before. I think it might just be part of how they're made. You know, something oh, like... look at the shape of this one. That is funky. See, I don't know why they don't make funky coins, like different funky shapes on the edges these days. It also looks Indian or something like that. 
I really like these square ones. These... I hate not being able to recognise people's. Uh, I know some of the European other ones countries are, are... writing and things because it makes me. Yeah, also some of the European countries feel very disrespectful. Uh, yeah. And ignorant. <laughs> oh, uh, East Africa. It's African. It's a half shilling. It must be another. It's another colonial one. Fifty cents. It's at 50 cents, Colonial East Africa, and the date is uh, 1948. And it's King George, obviously. It's um, Queen Elizabeth II's father. And this one is Rhodesian. Of course, it's not called Rhodesia anymore. What's it called oh, now? Right. What's oh, Rhodesian? it's American. We've got an American one. This is actually an American coin. You know what Rhodesia is called now? Rhodesia? I've never heard of Rhodesia. I don't know. That's because it changed its name. It's oh, did it? Well, I, I don't know. And I can't remember. I don't know then. Is I know there, there was a country called, Ro used to be called Rhodesia, and they changed it. Oh, it's an old, really old American coin. It's 1884, and it has Liberty on it. On it, look. It's the head of Liberty, and she's oh, got right, Liberty. Yeah. And it's got the stars for the um, there's different states. I don't know how many stars there are there. It's an 1861 farthing. Cool. A cent. Oh, look, it's another token. Oh. Look, 1770. Wow. Oh, look I at love that. It. What is that? What does it say? Gron et. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and say it because I'm saying it wrong, aren't I? It's Gron en Omel. Another coin from the Gronen. Another Dutch. Omel? Gronen Omel. Well, that's not in English, <laughs> is it? Where, Gronen Omel? I don't know. What's that? I don't even know. I have no idea what that could be. Oh, I think this is German. It's mm. a 1920 Guernsey halfpenny. Oh, Guernsey. What is this one? One of this the Channel one? Islands. That one. Oh, there's a hammer and sickle on there. Oh, it's um, Russian. The USSR. Yeah, it's Russian. It's 1923. Oh wow! How cool is this? Co it's looking at the country's coinage. What's well, all the uh, most of the yeah. EU countries now? They all have um. Yeah. The euro. I think it's a bit of a shame. It's actually, a bit of a shame because yeah. like or every country had like. I remember unique... going abroad when I was young, and it was really exciting French. to see all the different um, currencies. It's French. Oh, I like this one. This French coin. But I think what I'm going to do now is go and look up these extra interesting, really old ones. Yes, absolutely. Let's um. And we'll probably give you an update. Yeah, let's let's look them up. Especially some of these old British ones and yeah. tokens, I'm quite interested in. And some foreign ones as well. Um, we could be researching or looking up some of these coins and tokens all day, but we decided to pick out nine of the coins we were most interested in knowing some more about. They're a mixture of British and foreign coinage, and Mum's done a little bit of research on all of them, just so we know what they are, where they came from. So the first one, are we starting from this yeah. side, and then they're like, whoop. Working our way down, so... Yep, so we'll start with that one. And that one is John Howard, FRS Birmingham token. And John Howard was a philanthropist and prison reformer who died in 1790 after catching a disease from a prison he was visiting. FRS stands for Fellow of the Royal Society. HH on the coin stands for Henry Hickman, who issued the farthing coin... And he was a wholesale and retail dealer in sheet, bar and rod iron. It's quite a scarce coin and it could be worth up to about £125. 
Yeah, I think that depends on the condition. And this seems like really good condition, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Not bad. Some of these tokens are quite collectible. Yeah, so that's quite interesting, that one. Oh, and we've got a painting. You showed me a painting of this bloke here who has a very distinctive look about him, doesn't he? Yeah, we'll put that on screen. Next one is this. And that's right 1775, one Gutter Fen. And that's a German coin. So that's interesting. Yeah, this is cool. I really like the uh, I'm not sure how much on the back. that one's worth though. I couldn't really find out a lot about it. So if anyone else knows, yeah. that would be interesting to know. Is it worth a fortune? <laughs> <laughs> um, third one? The third one, Gron N. Ommel. Um, probably saying that totally wrong. Yeah, 1770, <laughs> and that's a Netherlands coin, and that could be worth 50 to 60 pounds. Wow, so we didn't actually buy this box for the coins and tokens no. inside. We bought it for the box itself to display finds in, but... So these are extras, really? Yeah, this is a hu these are huge extras as well. The next coin is a two Moidor coin Ooh, weight. Like, yeah, this one's interesting. I like this one. So a Moidor, I hope I'm saying that correctly, was a Portuguese gold coin that was struck in large quantities quantities from 1663 to the 1720s and it became the most commonly traded coin in the new world and it's what they were what we think of today as pirate coins and these coins were commonly Ooh. clipped so weights like these were used to check them to make sure that they, they were the correct weight and nothing had been clipped off them yeah and this one seems to be quite an early example and could be worth up to 100 pounds or more that's crazy. So we've yeah. got at least one hundred and fifty pounds here already in coins, in uh, like coins, tokens. This is not a coin or a token; it's a weight. Yeah, it's a weight, which is really ex yeah. unexpected. Yeah. Okay, next one. This one has Netherlands Indy on it. That stands stands for Netherlands, and it's eighteen thirty seven. It's a Netherlands East Indies island of Sumatra scent, which is. Really quite scent. interesting. Yeah, it's like the, we've got some early ones, yeah. Netherlands ones that say scent, didn't we? And 1837's Lots. when Queen Victoria first came to the throne. That's also a That's coincidence. worth about £15. Oh, I quite like that coin. I, I just, I really like the simple, yeah. like, the simple, like, you know, text on it. They're just really interesting. This one's quite worn, but it's quite interesting as well, isn't it? Okay, I managed to figure out that this is... It, all I can read on it is Richard and Dublin, but it's Richard Cook, and he was a merchant of Dublin. It says merchant of Dublin, one penny token, and it dates from the 17th century. That's the 1600s, so that's amazingly interesting. Yeah. Also, I can't find out how much that's worth because it seems to be quite rare. So, yeah. Oh, if you do know, let us know again. Could be worth a fortune, could be worth <laughs> a thousand pounds. So, next one. So this one is a spade half guinea gaming token from 1790, and it's a Birmingham one. That's so cool. um, they really, were used nice you know, when people were playing cards and things like yeah, that. It's like milled on the edge, that one as well. Like Made to the... imitate actual uh, guinea, I suppose. It would have been sort of gilded, I think, at one point. Yeah, you know what? I've got some. Yeah. I've got, I, I bought some. Um, ages ago that are actually still got the gilding on but now this one is a genuine George the third shilling and if it hadn't had the hole in it it oh. could have been worth up to 100 pounds but oh, with the no. hole in it's probably not worth very much oh oh well it would have been a really quite nice condition one as well yeah. um it's really quite crisp so that's a, that's a bit of a shame isn't it it's silver as well by the looks of it and the last one Oh, I is, like this one. It says, John Henderson at the ship in Newmarket, his half penny. And it's a token. And it's the 17th century trader's token. And that could be worth up to £100. But once again, I couldn't find one exactly like it um, for sale. So I, I'm not sure. There are ones similar, um, but yeah, I, I had a look as well I, on eBay and I, I didn't find one exactly yeah. like this so, so that's uh, the other 1600s uh, token oh yeah so there's quite a great collection yeah. there right from the 19th right back to 
the 17th century. And um, I, was, I wasn't expecting there to be anything worth very much in here. Um, no. But we've actually got more coins and tokens worth than we paid for the whole thing, including yeah. the box. So, and the box itself is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, obviously, it's that's what we were attracted to. Yeah. Um, and these are a bonus. So if we were buying this to resell, which we're not, um, we would have made a nice profit, I reckon, a little overall. Profit, yeah. yeah, with the box and the coins. With, yeah, with the box and the coins, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we really had a lot of fun opening that box and seeing what was inside, and we hope you did too. And we found some really interesting coins, but it's not just the coins that are interesting. This is the reason, the box is the reason we actually paid all our money, uh, because we have a special uh, project planned for the future, um, which will be on our other channel, our new channel, but this is part of that project um, for displaying our finds. And this is perfect for like the buttons we yeah. found and coins and that's why we bought it. And it's just wonderful. Plus- We took the drawers out with the coins in because it was too heavy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm missing. So I could hold it. Um, but it needs a lot of TLC. And I don't know if anyone would be interested in watching us restore it. Yeah, because we're going to do that. So if you'd like us to film that, <laughs> yeah. as you can see. Film the restoration of the box, let us know. It's missing some inlay, it's missing its handle. Obviously this shouldn't come off. No. The front. So the box is just amazing. It's an amazing piece of history. We love anything that's Georgian 18th century. We're sitting on Georgian chairs. You are sitting on a Georgian table. <laughs> and uh, most of our furniture is Georgian or older, <laughs> literally, yeah. in this room. Um, We've got a Georgian grandfather clock there, just, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. I'm not Georgian. Though. <laughs> not quite. Oh, and uh, there was Georgian coins on yeah, the table yeah, as well, yeah. and tokens and weights and such. But anyway, it's been a lot of fun, this. Um, and uh, we're wondering if you guys would like to see more auction videos, us going to the auction and buying lots of intriguing things like this. Because and also uh, car boot sales. Oh yeah, things like that, and antiques fairs. And yeah, anything like that. If you'd like to see us do that occasionally, let us know as well in the comments, because we love doing it, don't we? Yeah, I mean, we used to go and buy big drop lots of jewellery and yeah. look amongst them and find all sorts of like treasures, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, it was fun. Some amazing stuff. So um, yeah, that's, that's everything for this week. We really hope you did enjoy it. I know it was something different. I know it's not technically mudlarking, but... It's auction larking. It's auction larking. <laughs> That's a new name we've, we've coined right here. Auction larking. Yep. But anyway, a great big thank you to everyone who has watched the video, who has liked the video, left a comment down below, and uh, subscribe to our channel. That's very important. Yeah. Because we need <laughs> subscribers. And also, don't forget to go over and subscribe to our new channel, oh, yes, which is called The Lost Tower Diaries, and that's all about our lives here at home, if you're interested in what we get up to when we're not mudlarking. There's actually a new video out yesterday. Yesterday. -ish. Yesterday. We're not sure when this one's Yeah, this might out. go out on Monday, because... <laughs> and then it would be the day before yesterday. We're going to Detecticon in the northeast of England, so we'll be appearing there. Um, today metal, metal detecting metal detecting <laughs> um so yeah uh anyway an extra special thank you to our patrons on patreon of course who've helped keep us going every month thank you so much and we'll see you all again next, next week. week bye, bye.